Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. It's episode 41, and at the end of the last episode, we just got into Vault 101 again, and, uh, yeah, we were trying to sort out all the pro problems they've been having, a bit of a civil war going on down here. So, yeah, we're going to go and try and find the Overseer, um, and that'll be fun, because I have no idea where he is. So, well, I doubt he's going to be in the heart of the rebel camp, which is here, so let's, uh... Let's get out of this bit. Man, See you later, Butch. Sure yeah, let's, uh, well, no, I don't want to blow anyone in this joint. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see. Reactor? Nah, he's not going to be. Wait, is he going to be down here? Upper level. He's bound to be in the upper level. That's where overseers always hang out. I think. I am pretty sure. Pretty confident. Pretty pretty. There we go. Overseer's office. Right through here. Any second. Oh, yeah, because I, I remember this place. Hello, Mr. Overseer. Well, I see you've returned. And I see Gone you've stayed here. The wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? I am armed to the teeth. You have no place have talking no to me like that. In this vault. You're tainted. tainted. You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas. Should I say that? Lay off the evil banter. I'm just curious about your side of all this. No, I'm not. I'm not curious. I assume you're talking about the unpleasantness when you left? Yes? Yes? Jonas and your father were endangering the future success of this vault and the safety of its residents. I did what I had to do to keep them from destroying all we had achieved here. I only wish I could have prevented it from happening at all. Um, I'm sick of your lies. Don't try to justify your lies. What do you mean by the lies? Um, I'm sick of your lies. First of all, I didn't kill Jonas. I commanded Chief Hannon to do so. But only because it had to be done. Jonas was going to leave with your father. If he left, others would have left to join them. And they'd all vanish into the wastes, never to return. And with our numbers so depleted, we wouldn't be able to last beyond another generation. Assuming our expatriates didn't lead raiders to us first. It won't ever be pure while you're in charge. Is that a good thing to say? I don't know, I feel like I'm being too aggressive here, but we'll give it a go. Hardly. If anything, the only thing keeping it safe and pure is my strict supervision. But I wouldn't expect you to understand. You were never really one of us anyway. Your father was from the Wastes, and that's where you belong. I, I know, I'm not here to stay. Is at an end. Soon as this is done, I am out of here. Even never return. But death's always an option, too. <laughs> We'll just skip over that last point. Why are they rebelling? I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. That is not your decision to make. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problems. To fix what you started? This will be where the speech challenge is, right? Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Because I know what it's like on the outside. Speech 41%. You simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. Ah, oh, I failed. That's what humanity does. It survives. You will n I'll try again. You'll never survive down here, isolated from the rest of the world. The mission of this vault has always been to ensure a safe haven for pure... There might be another chance. <laughs> we owe it to our species to keep that mission. Uh, can I try again? No, I'll find a way to convince you. Just wait. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is reload that, and I'm going to try, <laughs> and I'm going to reload it, and I'm going to do it till I get the speech challenge, because I have no idea how to do it otherwise. Other than blowing his face off, but I mean, I don't really want to do that. Do you want to do that? You, uh, by all means, do that in your own game, but I'm just, I'm too much of a nice guy to be doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when this speech challenge works. 
Give me, give me a second here. Aha, it worked. Good, 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 good. In the 200 years since the war on... I hope there's not another one. <laughs> but we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. See, now he's but thinking I'm clearly. Them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. There we go. Hey, whoa, hey, ooh, we took off pretty quickly there. Well, I better follow him and tell him out of the good news. Is he just going then? <laughs> we just never see him again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's the easiest. Well, that's that's the best and easiest way of doing it. And by best, I mean the good karma route. Um, there are a couple more. I think you can either convince all the rebels that yeah, the overseer is right, and you should probably all stay in here, or you can go down there. And uh, destroy the, the the air filtration, and then everybody has to leave. But then the overseer, for some reason, finds out, and he comes down, and he's like, "Hey, none of that." And then you have to kill the overseer. And then Amata gets all, you know, yak yak, you know, all on about that. So yeah, it's really it's up to you guys. I mean, the first time I did it, it was uh, hey Amata. First time I did it, I I destroyed the the air filtration, thinking this is a good thing because then everybody will leave. And experience the world outside. Mata, everyone. But no, they were—they weren't so happy about that. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to. Oh my God! Safe, <laughs> How did I they know it was me? Perhaps. <laughs> overzealous. Lives have been lost. I'm sorry. I look really intimidating. Worse than that, lives have been stopped. What is wrong with your neck? And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain <laughs> your overseer. Uh, what? One second. Father. Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. There we You've go. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vault. What about me? I'm just so. I have done everything for this vault. Earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. Hey, go take a nap. With the it's fine. Soon, in private. Pull up a chair. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. Well, not me. You should have made me it. the overseer. I did do it, didn't I? Hey. I just heard. No, I know. I, I was there as well. <laughs> he won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. Well, duh. I just had a little talk with him and explained a few things. All quite civil. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? Well, I hope as so. As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. Whatever it is, I'm glad to help. I know you are, and on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. What? I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. I saved the vault and now you're kicking me out? No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. Ha! <laughs> Fat so, chance. I guess this is goodbye for But you know, if you're in Megaton sometime, you, you stay in my place. It's, it's fine. I got a spare bed. Not that we'll need it. We'll meet again. 
Modified utility jumpsuit. Great. I would have thought down here you'd have more resources than a modified utility jumpsuit, but okay. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Vault 101. Goodbye, bitch. Goodbye, old lady. Goodbye, crazy killer robot and corpse. But you know what? It's probably best if I just leave. Let's talk to Butch. Butch will be happy. He can come with me, right? Come on. You'd be back. It's a shame you gotta go. Oh, come on. Okay out there, I'm sure. Not even a goodbye. That is... That's just awful. Hey, overseer. Good riddance. What? Get out. Why are you so angry? Ah, fine. You know, I could still destroy all of you. Look at all these ruined books. You're never gonna be able to read those. Look at this. Ah, I remember the old days where we used to have parties in here. Ah, uh, we'd cut the cake and then we'd put our party hats on and... Ah, what a what a wonderful time that was. Hey, is this Gomez? It's a shame you've got to go, but you'll do okay out there. I'm sure. Yeah, Butch. Butch said something very similar to that. Well, guys, I don't know what you were expecting me to do. Um, but, I mean, that's about as exciting as it's going to get. You might want to take that down. You might want to just, I mean, at least clean it up. Because that's, that's not going to be good. I mean, that, the, Amata's the overseer, and then she's not going to be happy with that. Good riddance. Get out. What? I'm, oh, I saved everybody. Saved it. That's what you get for saving everybody in this game. <sighs> but it's okay. I have a strong heart and I can take it. I don't want to live in this crummy vault. I can live anywhere I want. Like in here. Oh, that's the way out. What the hell is this then? My god. I feel like I should show you where you destroy the place. Because that's a bit, uh, you know, I wouldn't blame you for wanting to do that. Uh, but it might be down here, it might be in the reactor area. I'm not, I'm not too sure. No, it doesn't look like it's down here. Ah, oh, a criminy roach. Don't hit me, it's not even worth killing. Uh, oh well, I better go. That's not the way. That's that's not the way. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Have fun. Here we go again. I'll watch the door close again. Does it close? Yeah, here we go. Never to reopen. We'll never see that again. Somehow somebody changed the entrance password just as I left. <laughs> oh well. Out into the big bad world. Again. Level up. Not registered late, but level up. Give me some skill points. Ah, what quest is next? I could I could just finish this right now, but I won't. Because I still got lots to do in this world. <laughs> so let's see what's out there. After we level up, of course. Energy weapons, yes. Um, mm, what can I do? Speech. Why not? You know, it's good. It's, yeah, I've got forks. I'm gonna go and get. That's what I'll do next. I'll get forks, and I don't really need anything. <laughs> Medicine. Let's do that. Oh, perk. Awesome. No, no, no. Um. Why are all these terrible? I could take the scoundrel perk. Um, thief? No. Ah. Small guns and repair. I suppose I could do that again. Why not? Why not? We'll do In fact, no, I don't want that. I don't use small guns anymore. Tell you what I'll do. I'll do scoundrel. Everybody loves a scoundrel. Give me some good perks. Okay, well, we're out in the big bad world again. Um, what to do next? Let's check my quest journal. Where is my question? 
It's on my wrist. Okay. Ah, the Wasteland Survival Guide. Everybody loves that. <laughs> and that's all the way over there, so that'll give me some... Uh, some time to reflect on what just happened. Can't believe they kicked me out. What a load of old crap. Ah, as if I missed. That's right. I don't need to use a plasma bullet... Bullet? Shell? <laughs> um, cell? I don't know what they are. I don't need to use it, but I will. Because I can afford to now. I mean, look at me. I look pretty badass in this outfit. This is a man's armor right here. Oh my god. What? What is that? Come on, let's just... Let's get serious for a second. That's right. That's me getting serious right there. Ugh. When did I pause it to do the speech challenge? Because I'm getting the feeling I I might have to save it. Ah, oh, I better have to just in case. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Episode 41, I think. I always get it wrong when I get going, but thank you very much for watching it. What I think is episode 41 of this guy is going to kill me. Okay, let me just get this guy. Come on, there we go. Yeah, thank you very much for watching episode 41 of Let's Play Fallout 3. Uh, join me for episode 42 because... Because, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Install the processor widget in the Robco production facility mainframe. And I know that's what you've all been waiting for. So, join me for that, guys. See you later.